Live Lean Nation, on today's episode of Live Lean TV, I'm talking about three foods you should never eat. Welcome to Live Lean TV. I am your host, Brad Dr. the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. So, okay, if there's one thing that you can count on, it's that all nutrition, fitness, and health coaches will never 100% agree on what foods make up the ultimate diet. Vegetarians will never eat meat, vegans won't eat eggs, and hardcore paleo people won't eat grains. So who's 100% right? We are. <laughs> we are, bitch. <laughs> So who's 100% right? No one. Our bodies are different. Take John for instance. He'll respond well to eating foods A, B, and C, while our boy Ron will respond best to eating foods D, E, and F. The point here is, there's not one perfect diet for everyone. It's up to you to test different foods on your body and see what you react to best. Now with that said, I could simply list three foods that everyone already knows they should not eat pretty much all deep fried foods and trans fat loaded cakes and cookies. But I wanna get a little more insightful with you on this video. I wanna share with you three principles to help you figure out for yourself the specific foods that you personally should never eat based on your own body. It's my goal to help you foster a better relationship with food because food is not the enemy. So let's go. Number one, the bet you can't eat just one type of foods also known as trigger foods. You know these foods, right? You try to be good by just having one bite, but then the hunger hormones and chemicals start pumping through your body. This makes you go back for more and more, and yeah, a little bit more. The foods that come to mind for me are foods like potato chips and ice cream. It's hard for me to have just one dill pickle flavored potato chip and then stop. I'll put them back in my cabinet and I'll keep thinking about them and then I'll go back to my cabinet and I'll eat more. In other words, you feel like you're never satisfied and can never fill yourself up until you eat the entire bag or carton. Then it hits you like 15 minutes later and you feel like a pile of <laughs> Avoid. Number two, foods that you're allergic to or have insensitivities to. So many people's bodies, they have negative reactions when certain foods enter their body. This can be minor little things like bloating, gas, <laughs> or, <laughs> or an upset stomach or it could be more serious via allergic reactions. So if you notice that you're feeling a little bit off after you eat certain foods, try removing them from your diet for a period of time and see how you feel. Some call this the elimination diet. I figure this out for me when I have dairy. My belly bloats, it expands like I'm a pregnant lady with six pack abs, it's crazy. Or you could just go and have a test that's called an IgG or IgE test to measure the allergies in your food intolerances. Go talk to your doctor about that. And number three, foods that you don't like. Now this doesn't mean you should never eat vegetables. This simply means that if you don't like broccoli and you've experimented with various cooking options and spices and everything else, don't eat it. By forcing yourself to eat something that you absolutely hate, you're reinforcing those negative feelings towards vegetables as a whole and placing a negative experience towards eating healthy. You'll never stick to a long-term healthy way of eating if your idea of that includes forcing broccoli down every day. Find another vegetable that you like to eat and move on. But just make sure you've tried various cooking methods and spices before you banish that broccoli from your diet. If you invest in a cookbook like my Eat Clean Live Lean cookbook, it's a great way to learn how to make all these healthy foods taste great. I can't tell you how much learning how to cook has changed my body and my life. So with that said, we upload a cooking lesson recipe video at our teamlivelean.com inner circle site. Cook right alongside of us with all the other members. It's a game changer. Go join at teamlivelean.com. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give us that big thumbs up by clicking the like button down there. And if you're new to Live Lean TV, welcome. We want you to click subscribe because we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and keep living lean. Live Lean Nation, since you guys like my recent episode on lean food substitution so much, we're back again talking about four simple and progressive food swaps